Hey guys, Kind Jad here, and you're watching me play in the Bronze Cup beat again against T Boys. Welcome to the FIFA 12 Ultimate Team Series Cheapskate, which is I just don't, you know, I don't spend any actual real money in trying to build as good a team as possible. But yes, guys, got a rare, sorry, he's, he's got an informed player up front, and striker, uh, he's got a pretty solid looking team. Everyone's in the right position. 100 chemistry. Most of these guys uh, are Americans, it's got a couple of Canadian or two. Really dangerous looking team and that informed player as well just stands out as being a big threat. Right before half time, Twig is able, well actually Twig gives it away, what a prat. I can't believe Twig would let me down like that. For God's sake Twig, how could you? Oh wait a second, you've just burst through and, oh, well. Okay, you redeemed yourself. You went past it horribly right to then but 10 seconds earlier but that was great one two pass and play there. I just Yeah, I just I actually made just a little bit of space and I finished it into the corner right on half time. In competition United, I've beaten T Boys 1 0. Get in there. Second half, my passing and movement is just too much for this guy to take. And Woods has played through, finished his first time into the bottom corner. Not a lot of power, but no, there's not a lot of power needed. The guy's got pretty good shooting, you know, he's he's just a beast, he's a left footed player. Hits it first time, past the goalkeeper, 2-0. That's an important second goal. This guy looked pretty dangerous and I was glad to get a second goal to just act as a bit of a cushion, a bit of a, a, bit of a safety net. So hopefully I can hold on to the lead. Some of you may remember I said Robertson was a beast a couple of episodes ago for just for his long range shooting. This is why. I mean, that was just unbelievable. He's not even got a long shot trait, but he manages to do that. What a goddamn shot! And as I get a shot, I went and looked at after the game in replay mode and look at it yourself, it just... It just flies into that top corner, it was wonderfully hit. The keeper didn't stand a chance, 3-0, game over. Not quite game over, he does a lovely little lob over my goalkeeper, that was a great finish from his player Oduru. So, maybe it's not game over, 9 minutes to go, it's 3-1. So a couple of minutes to go, I cross it in, it's headed away, but Robertson picks it up. He passes to Alexander, rolls a ball to his left and smashes it past the goalkeeper. A lovely little goal from Alexander. That is definitely game over now. Semi-finals, I'm against the A team. Look at this guy, 84 chemistry, a lot of Swedish players on that team. Couple not in the right formation. Other than that, it looked pretty strong. He's not got a manager, don't know why. But 4-3-1-2 uh, formation just like mine, so this will be a tough one. Arfield wins the ball. And he just keeps running through the, the team with it. And then he just plays it to Miller, who curls it into the bottom corner. What a run from Arfield. He just went by two or three players pretty easily and then just played that deadly ball through to Miller. He's three in acres of space and he just side foots it into the bottom corner. One nil after 11 minutes. Get in there. Hey Robertson, remember that cracking goal you scored in the last game? Can you do it again for me? Well, thanks a lot for that. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's the same guy, and he just done another long range special. <laughs> what a streak! Let's see that one again. He just turns to the ball, he's got space, it's opened up for him. He just pings it into that far corner with power and accuracy. 2 0. Not so fast though, Elm scores a goal back for him. So, yeah, the comeback's on perhaps. Second half, Twig's in the box, turns his man. I get a bullshit penalty. Wow. You know, I'm actually, I actually get very little decisions going for me inside the box when I get crushed, so I'll take that bullshit penalty. Yeah, whatever. It was a very bad decision, but whatever. Alexander steps up, smashes it right into that corner. It is 3-1. He laps the goalkeeper and then grabs the ball. Right to start the second half. It's a great way to start. 3-1. This, at this point, my opponent is starting to lose the rag a wee bit. Woods goes by two players. He goes by three. He goes by four. He goes by five. And he smashes it into the bottom corner. Woods is pretty damn good at dribbling, he's got a great shot on him, he's got a long shot trait, there's nothing that man cannot do. I guess it helps when my opponent is pretty angry and he's kind of raging at the moment and he just, he's a good player but he's certainly getting too hot headed, he's diving and lunging into tackles and he's paying the price for it because I'm just going to pick him apart with his. After an hour gone he plays a good through ball, he takes a touch and he hits it into the corner, Elm has scored yet again. So this guy, he's calmed down a little bit obviously and he's got another goal back, so it's 4-2 now. Comeback perhaps might be on if he keeps a cool head? Nope, no comeback for him, it actually ends 4-2 and so I am in the Bronze Cup Final. 
Let's hope I can get another victory under my belt and get a second bronze cup. I mean, this team have been playing pretty damn good football. There's been some great passing, some great dribbling, there's been some great long shots as well, <laughs> thanks to Robertson. He's just turned into a bit of a beast all of a sudden. I mean, let's, let's, I mean, uh, the guy's not even got a long shot trait, but he's capable of that. That is just incredible. So let's see, uh, let's, let's get on to the next game. My opponent for the final is Team Avengers. This is Wiltsang's team, and his abbreviation is T, which is, you know, not a bad idea actually. But uh, I can't think about T right now, I've got to think about his team. 4 3 2 on formation, 100 chemistry. Uh, there's not one single green line apart from the goalkeeper to one of the centre backs, everything else is a kind of a, just an orange line. But still, 100 chemistry looks pretty solid, so this will probably be a very tough final. Start of the game, Miller's making a big run through the middle, he shrugs off his marker and he just side foots it into the bottom corner. Great run by Miller, good strength and good composure to calmly slot it into the bottom corner to give my team the advantage in the cup final. 1-0 to Incompetence United, get in there! But my opponent is not in the cup final for no single other reason than the fact that he's a good player. He goes down the wing, cuts back, cuts back again, good skills and he scores a sweaty goal thanks to Indyer's big fucking head. It is one each. Second half, I'm passing the ball about. Arfield does well to win the ball. He plays it to Twig. He lays it off for Woods. He smashes it in the corner. It is as gloriously simple as that. Brilliant football played. And a deadly finish from Woods' weaker right foot. He's a left footed player, remember, but he's got five stars on that weak foot. So his left is just as deadly as his right. And he's got a long shot. I mean, I cannot speak high enough of Woods. Get. I mean, he's not even that expensive. Get Woods now. You will not regret it if you have got good chemistry. He plays in the English Royal Leagues. So, I believe he's at Doncaster. And I think they're in the Championship or Division 1. So, we're building like a Championship or Division 1 side. He's definitely one of the best players to get, I think. Or if you're building a Scottish team like me, a Scottish bronze team, get Woods. You cannot go wrong with him. You know, even, even if I get... Uh, okay, let's I mean, just face it. I mean... I cannot speak high enough of him, you've seen what he can do, try him out for yourself and see what he does. He's still not convinced about Woods, look at this, I played Woods through, he's going to score thanks to the defender. I don't understand how it's not an own goal, he's tried to cross it in for a trampy sweaty goal, the defender's got in the way and just helped it into a net and he's just given us Woods his goal. So yeah, even, even EA agrees that Woods is just that good that he deserved a goal, look at this. Yeah, that was definitely on target before I hit a defender. Yeah, that was, that was definitely on target. So it's 3-1 to Incompetence United in the cup final. My opponent's committed men forward thanks to a corner. I play it long. It's an ugly tactic, but a big long ball has sent Miller clear through in goal. And he's, he's, he, look at what he just does. He just drills it in that bottom corner. Hops over the goalkeeper, slides into the back of the net to celebrate. A few minutes to go. He tried to bring his keeper out to put me off, and he kind of kept him out a little bit as well. I was tempted to try and chip him. I thought, nah, fuck that. That'll be a bit too difficult. Let's just drill that ball into the bottom corner and put that fucking seal on the victory. 4-1 to Incompetence United. Now this, I'm just, this is just glorious. Twig wins it and loses it, but Arfield picks up, goes by one, goes by two, goes by three. He goes by four, and all of a sudden he's down the left-hand side. Crosses it in, and Woods is there to hit it into the empty net. There's a bit of a trampy sweaty goal, but that was, I mean, you can't deny it. That was brilliant play from Arfield. He just fake shotted into the box. The opponent completely fell for it. And Woods just volleys that into the empty net. It is 5 1, and that is how it ends. Champions! After that, I go to my trade pile. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to sell these players. And yeah, Zaha. I'm selling Zaha. Why? Because he's not, been, he's not made the impact I hoped he had. He's so good against me. But that's because he's usually playing in teams with, you know, he's. The chemistry between him and his teammates when he's against me anyway is so good and effective because he's playing with teams, he's playing with guys in the same league as him or maybe maybe same nationality, I don't know but he's, he's not effective in my team at all so I'm going to sell him and I'm going to hopefully make a wee profit on him compared to what I paid for him. So after that I check out how I'm doing for my pace abusing English team. I've got himself in a 3-4-3 formation, I've got a fair few players signed up uh, everyone's English apart from Cairns on the right midfield. He's Irish, but he plays in the English league. So the chemistry is all good. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've 
I've not actually spent too much money on this team, but uh, um, well, yeah, let's, let's just see what this team can do. With the Pace Abuser team, I enter the Bronze Cup against uh, Nerder KSC or whatever. So this guy is playing a 4 2 2 2 formation, 94 chemistry, 2 star rated. And I'm just thinking, how hard could it be? I've got a pace abusing team. When people have got pace and they're decent players, they're unstoppable. The fuck did that happen? Yeah, fuck this team. I am not a patient person. I can tell kind of straight away. It, it, this this plan wasn't, you know, really going to work too well for me. This pace abuse team, it's just not for me. I, I don't think I'm capable of pace abusing. Maybe I'm just too... I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm just too shit, who fucking knows. But yeah, I just decided, whole team, every single one of you, I've bought you, I played you one time, I didn't like it one bit, you just got fucking humped 3 0. I'm sending your arses to the trade pile. Every single one of you, go on. You, 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 every, everyone, everyone go on. I'm going to get some coins back, and I guess I'll try and build a. I'm going to try and build a Scottish silver team instead with the money I get. I guess the motto here is stick to what you know best and right now I guess I know, I mean I'm really digging the Scottish team. I'm playing really well with them. I'm winning cups with them. I win a lot more than I lose with them. I'm playing some lovely football so yeah I'm sticking to what I know and I know that when I'm with, when I'm this team it's just right. It just clicks for me. It's just, it, nothing rarely goes wrong. It's just I mean, how, where can you go wrong with that? It's just Miller up front as a striker. He's got he's got so many goals for me. Woods centre forward, one of the best things I've ever done in FIFA anyway. Yeah, and ever 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 in real life. Yeah, but Alexander centre mid. He's got great pass and he's got good skills as well. And penalty kicks, he's just unstoppable. Yeah, so stick to what I know, and I know that his team is beast. That has been King Jad. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Peace out.